For years, I have been watching a debate <clears throat> in the area of consuming milk from commercial dairy or milk from the protected cows. So there are two camps. They give opinion. One camp gives opinion that it is in modern cities it is impossible to get goshala milk or the milk from protected cows. We have to depend on commercial dairies. Where the cows are, there are so many cruel practices and ultimately they are sent to slaughterhouse. So the logic given is at least by those poor cows by offering their milk to God, we are actually giving at least some benefit to those in their those poor miserable creatures. They are receiving some spiritual benefit if their milk is offered to Krishna. So that's the logic which is given. And we are go live milk is milk is actually dairy products are necessary and that's why pretty much a major part of human society we do consume them now the problem is yes if it is milk it's worth offering if it is liquid beef or white blood it's not worth offering you are saying you can offer to Krishna, but it's up to Krishna to accept it. That's important. It's not just anything you offer. You see, modern dairy operations, they are part of, they are part of slaughterhouse operations. This is end-to-end -end solution. You get the dairy cows, you get the male cows, for, they are sent to wheel. And then there is, there is a whole processing you utilize for a couple of years, two, three years, the milk, couple of years. And then you process them and the hides, the bones. They are part of, they are not dairy operations, they are slaughterhouse operations. And these slaughterhouse operations, what we are coming out of it is not milk, it's liquid beef. It's liquid, it's white blood. And Krishna is not under any compulsion to, to, to honor it. So, milk, actually what is milk? Anything white you extract out of a cow is not milk. Milk is what the cow voluntarily, that's the crux, voluntarily gives out of affection for her calf, that is called milk. Rest is all liquid beef. There are three kinds of products. There is, milk is a product of love and egg is a product of lust and meat is the product of cruelty. So, <clears throat> Milk is produced out of love. When a cow sees its little calf, then emotions. And that is why, why we recommend in Vedic culture, milk is recommended because it is imbued with love. It is filled with mother's love. And it imbues our brains, the whole society's brain, with affection, with mode of goodness. And people... So that is why milk was recommended. Not just you extract out, it's not milk. Then egg, they are product of lust. By eating eggs, the society gets filled with lust. And meat, meat is a product of cruelty. When people eat meat, masses eat meat, we see mass prevalence of cruelty which is what we are seeing today. So, this uh, a milk, uh, if you get real milk, don't stay in a place. Don't leave the country if milk is not available. Try to mold your life. 
if you don't have good milk in the in the in that city try to take a job somewhere else it's possible probably there are people traditionally if a family didn't have a cow nobody would give their daughter because what children will come what are they going to drink ultimately good health is the first thing you need so today is why people are turning into vegans vegans because this dairy operations this milk what white uh, liquid beef what is coming out of dairy operations is actually is very very bad for your health so this is the um, this is the logic that first priority should be good food chemical free you know which is grown properly that is why our founder shila prabhupad from day 1 when he drafted his can to teach a natural way of life he established new vrindavan farm because human happiness the first thing is good health and healthy mind and healthy body hari krishna